Now, going on to the culture part of the podcast, you have Bud Light trying to tweet again, and of course they 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 fail epically. Now, this specifically is their situation where they're actually giving tickets away. And apparently they just can't give them away. They're now keep in mind most of these are like Saints tickets. So this is a tweet where they had the whole all the Saints, and I can't help but feel bad for the Saints. I don't know if they this is probably a really long ago contract that they negotiated. And now all of a sudden they have to work with them still. So it was a commercial where you have a bunch of people in um, Saints, and apparently they have a football team, and all the Saints swag, uh, swags, they got hats, jerseys, all that crap. And in five, all these statistics are from the first five hours of the tweet. And in five hours, the tweet only got 38.6 thousand views and 125 likes, which again, not even the people working at Bud Light are liking it apparently. That's 0.32% of people like it. Now, I can only see this because I use my business profile account to actually see the account of Bud Light because they blocked me because I had the audacity of having a reply reminder saying when they said like, oh yeah, it's time to buy Bud Light. I responded with a case of Yaling Light and Yaling Regular with an American flag behind it saying, hey, thanks for the reminder. I just, I, I need to go buy, buy this. And apparently that hurt their feelings. Although it's still not as bad as censoring my YouTube videos as I can't notice the only time that I have YouTube videos with the comments disabled. One, ironically, is when I criticize YouTube for disabling more contents and disa disabling ad blockers. And two, is like one or two Bud Light videos where I had Bud Light in the title and I critiqued the company. And even more ironic is when I had a video specifically talking about the video that was, spent, that was censored that had the subject of Bud Light. Hilarious, yes. Coincidence, I don't think so. Now, Rich Mooney is a really popular replier to these Bud Light tweets. He does his usual poll where he said, hey, what are you going to buy this weekend? Are you going to get a Bud Light or are you going to get an Anheuser-Busch InBev product? He got 72 votes and 92% said no Anheuser-Busch InBev. And then they censored that. So it looks like Bud Light's getting really censored. They're going after everyone. Now, Rich Mooney also to the same tweet, he brought up an article where the CEO of InBev, so the parent comp the giant company, they're saying how they, they, they see the consumer preferences. They had that poll recently. So they think people are coming back. And he said they're very much delusional that CEO is out of touch because, of course, he is. Now, that comment by Rich Mooney got 1,709 views and 46 likes, giving you a good old 2.7% like ratio. So needless to say, it seems no matter how much they try to tweet, the fans just won't let it stop. It is, it'll be interesting to see where do they choose in terms of, do they just keep going forward or do they learn and maybe hire someone else for marketing or sell back? I don't know how they'll recover, but let me know if you think they can. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in again. We're trying to get to 3000 subscribers by the end of August. So you can click that button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to take the time to leave a comment, like the video, the feedback is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.